Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys out. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at all the birthday offers that are going on in the game and basically i'll give you guys my opinion on what's worth it and what's not for those of you that are looking forward to getting something or let's say you weren't looking forward to getting something but now after watching this video you're like really into it and want to actually purchase that monster um and also for those of you that wanted to purchase a monster but i mentioned in the video that it's not worth it then i can help those out as well so make sure to watch the whole video to um just get a better look at what's going on in the game right now and what's like worth really worth your money and your gems not just that but also what's really not worth you know so this video will help you guys out i'm sure um but anyways i hope you guys are excited for today's video if you are drop a like and also subscribe to the channel notifications on this will help the youtube algorithm for those people that aren't really like getting this video on their recommended it'll just put it in their recommended basically let me just say that okay so help me out help them out as well so um anyways let's just go ahead and get into the video all right so in case you didn't know it is of course ml's birthday and um of course almost everybody knows that it's just that if you head over to this section of the game keep scrolling down you'll see this okay this is like one of the most insane offers in the game okay so we've had we've seen this okay in the past we've seen it with um cosmic monsters like shelly we saw it uh with a couple other monsters of course but now it is for corrupted monsters who was expecting this not me <laughs> i really wasn't i thought once maybe the corrupted era ends fully then you know it'll come out but it's still going and you know the monsters are here so take a look at this we've got olifanetic okay this tank we also have a monster on another tank okay so two megaton monsters then you've got colonel pip which is an amazing attacker or great attacker, I guess. It used to be really good. It still is. Okay, don't get me wrong. But not as good as it used to be. Because now we have other top um, meta attackers. Then you got Sensei Panikin. Spectra. Okay. And that's about it. Now, this is not all of it. Take a look at this. If you keep scrolling, you see this. Cruel. For 100 bucks, you'll get a rank 5. And in the past, this was actually out in, what, the Curve the Era portal? Cruel which was out for 100 bucks but it didn't give you a mythic habitat this one gives you a mythic habitat but i mean at the same time who cares about the mythic habitat unless uh, maybe starter started players that are looking forward to purchasing something um for those of you that are watching this continue watching because you won't regret it okay i'll let you guys know what's worth it and what's not okay so yeah um it comes with a mythic habitat you got jacuna high which is an amazing monster s tier in my opinion you've got lady meow great dodgy area monster but now you've got onrika which is actually better in my opinion. Uh, everybody has different opinions. We all respect it. You got Mojo Drac in the other hand. Uh, great taunt monster. Actually the best taunt monster right now in the game in my opinion. Um, you also have Wormhole. Wormhole as well. Rank 5. And that's about it. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. okay yeah so you got five monsters here and then you got another five over here all up to rank five okay so this one is for gems as you guys can see sensei panikin and all these other ones you can get them for gems or i think there should be a money option this one's 1400 gems is that it and then there's another one where you can actually just get the monster like these ones right here that were mentioned over there right you can get them for 30 bucks but it's just the monster itself right i don't really recommend purchasing this honestly guys don't really purchase it it's not worth it if you're planning on getting something like this this is not worth it for 30 bucks it is not worth it skip on this okay please skip on it unless you really want to then go ahead and do so but let me see there's also this flash sales combo pack if i don't forget i'll get back into that later on but this video is mainly about the new um all these new packs right like the ones that i just mentioned for the monsters oh my gosh okay here we go we're back to it uh but here's the thing guys sensei panikin you can actually get it right now for four thousand gems and is it worth it yes a hundred percent it's worth it if you don't if you've never had it before i highly recommend getting this Sensei Panikin, you're not just getting Sensei Panikin, but you're also getting one of the most overpowered obscure talents in the game as well, which is Arnting Assault. So I highly recommend getting this if you haven't already, okay? So this should be um, one of your purchases for those of you that are planning on purchasing something. But if you already have a Sensei Panikin and you already got yourself the UA from the um, 
dungeon, you don't really have to worry about this. You can skip on Sensei. But for those of you that don't have it, I highly recommend getting it. And it's up to rank 5 for 4,000 gems. Okay? Um, and then you've also got Colonel Pip. Now, here's the thing. For those of you that are planning on purchasing Colonel Pip, here's a better option. Okay? If you don't have Spectra, this is like right now the best attacker in here. This is the best. Oh, aside from Cruel, yeah. Cruel and Spectra and of course Lady, but there's also Enrica. Enrica is better in my opinion. Uh, but here's the thing, guys. If you're planning on getting an attacker, for those of you that want an attacker, either get Cruel, Lady Meow, or Spectra. But Lady Meow should be your third option. A Cruel and Spectra, like top, top, okay? They're like right next to each other. So get one of those first, either Cruel or Spectra, okay? Costs 100 bucks, of course. The other one costs... a. 4,000 gems. Um, so if you are looking for attacker and meta attacker, one of the most updated ones, then I highly recommend getting Spectra or um, Cruel. And if you already have those two and you're looking for another attacker, you can either get yourself Sensei Panikin. I know lots of you guys are saying this is a denier. Yes, I agree with you, but you can also run as an attacker with Arnold's Against Assault. Okay, so you can go on and get yourself Sensei Panikin and run as an attacker if you want to. Uh, it could also be a denier once again. Then you also have Colonel Pip. Colonel Pip would be your option after Sensei Panikin, okay? Um, or I guess it'd be Sensei Panikin and Colonel Pip together. One of them, you can choose whichever one you want. And then lastly would be Lady Meow. The reason why I put Lady Meow last is because... Here's the thing, don't get me wrong, the monster is still great. I love her actually. I got her to rank 5 on my MG account, but I barely use it. I mainly use other attackers. The monster is still great. Yeah, you can run it with Jakuna High and Motodrag, it's amazing, but I use Onrika more. Onrika is just more updated, okay? So if you have Onrika, rank 5, you don't have to worry about Lady Meow, don't get it. But if you don't have that, then sure, go ahead and run this. You get this, Jakuna High and also Motodrag, two Dodger monsters and one Taunt, it is an amazing team. It's a great combo altogether. But here's the thing, guys, if you need a Mega Taunt monster, right? If you need a Mega Taunt, I highly recommend getting Maelstrom. If you don't have Maelstrom, you need this as a Megaton monster. It is amazing. Get it. Okay. So Maelstrom would be a one of your options. But if you already have Maelstrom, go ahead and get yourself all the fanatic. Okay. All the fanatic is also great. But I like Maelstrom more. It's just that he starts off with the 50% shield and the Megaton is just really good. And he has skill mirror skills. All the fanatic, on the other hand, is also amazing, but it doesn't start off with a 50% shield, which kind of sucks. And not just that, but also um what's it called? I mean, he does have healing abilities, which is nice. But here's the thing. You don't really have to worry about it. You could just get Maelstrom and then you could pair it up with Jakuna High or something or any other monsters that could basically heal you and remove tortures and stuff like that. Um, but Colonel Pip, another decent attacker or great attacker. But once again, guys, for attackers, like I mentioned, Spectra, Cruel, those two are like your top options. Get those, okay? Um, but yeah, after those two, here's what I recommend, guys. For those of you that are looking for like deniers or any monster that could take in the first chain and remove positive side effects or basically just deny like Sensei Panikin, for deniers, let's just say deniers and supporters. We're going to combine them both. Sensei Panikin is great, but here's the thing. If you don't have Jakuna High, I recommend getting Jakuna High instead of Sensei. But here's the thing. You also need Sensei for Unrouting Assault, so that's really up to you what you want to do. You can either go with Sensei Panikin, get that rank 5, right? You also get access to the dungeon where you can get Unrouting Assault, which is one of the most overpowered um, obviously sounds right now. You can go with that. Or you can go ahead and get yourself a Jakuna High. And if you have a Dodge Area monster, that's great. You can literally combine that Dodge Area. It could be Lady Meow. And you combine it with Mojo Drag because the two Dodge Area and one Taunt. It is an amazing combo. Once again, great, great, dude. this team in Grandmaster Duels, it dominates. Okay. And lots of players run uh, on Rekka instead of Lady Meow. So if you have on Rekka, you could just use that and then save yourself 100 bucks from this. Um, but yeah, back to monsters that could. Basically, taking a first turn room, positive side effect, trade disable, and stuff like that. Supporter, something like that. This trade disabler is amazing. Wormhole, if you want, if you need it, if you don't have it already, I recommend getting it. It is an amazing monster for 100 bucks. It's actually a great deal, in my opinion. Okay, um, here's the thing. Remember, this monster was out in the tails, so you had to basically grind for this. You had to put time into it. Not just that, but also, right now it's 100 bucks, right? And normally, for the gem packs right now it's on discount but let's just say it wasn't on discount you have to basically spend 1700 gems there right so for 1700 uh, that equal to um 100 
that is so worth it. 1700 plus 1700, that is 3400. So 3400, right? Now that's just 3400. It's still a great deal. Even without the discount, it is a great deal because remember, uh, you had to spend over 3400 for sure to get yourself that rank five. And also on top of that, you had to put time into it. So if you missed out on Wormhole, pick it up, okay? Uh, it's a great Tails monster. I missed out on it. Um, I know I told you guys not to get Wormhole at that time because that, that's just because I, I guess I just didn't like it as much. You know, I saw the skills and stuff like that, but then once it actually got added into the game and people started using it, then I was like, you know what? I changed my mind about it, okay? Um, but yeah, if you missed out on Wormhole like I did, pick it up. Although me, I don't know if I'll pick it up, but um, I think what I'll do is I'll pick up a Jakuna high for myself. This is a rank five Jakuna high. And um, not just that, but maybe also Mojo Drag. I'll pick up both of them. What do you guys think? I feel like those two would be nice. Plus on Rekka altogether, it's going to be a nice team. Or just to have both of them just for rewards and stuff. Since I'm like in a very competitive team, Team Spirit 2015, um, I'll need it, you know? So, yeah, but guys, once again, Wormhole, if you need a monster that's like super fast, that could trade the sable, and if you don't have a trade the sable, this is amazing. Right now, I still use my Dew, the Dew, right? He has trade the sable and stuff like that. But if you want to run Wormhole, get it, and you know, start using it, go ahead and do so. Since the Peony can you'd have to pick it up if you haven't already because of the unrelenting assault and because it's a good denier i'd say so it's a good denier okay colonel pip in the other hand is also good um but once again guys extra is better cruel is better so pick those up instead and if you're planning on getting one of the tanks mouse run would be a great option now besides all of that did i miss out on oh mojirak mojirak is fantastic i did this monster is literally the best tank right now in the game in my opinion okay prove me wrong literally the best thing um not mega taunt just tank like as a taunt trait okay because this monster has damage protection skills shield it is so good so people normally run like you know soul dragon stuff like that on this monster and run it on pvp it is re just really good and it, it was a bouncing hunt monster as well for 100 bucks it is so worth it literally most of these monsters for 100 bucks it's actually worth it uh i guess all of them are Technically, all of them are, especially even Colonel Pip. I know Colonel Pip is outdated a bit, but think about it. This was a maze monster, right? And people had to spend more than 100 bucks or I guess 4,000 4, gems. I'd have to do the, the math again, but I'd say, yeah, people definitely spent more than this, basically, getting this. Um, but these ones cost gems. I just wish they cost the money instead because this is just a little more than this, actually, yeah. But anyways, those are just the offers for the rank 5 top monsters, okay? So, like, these ones right here, the top monsters that are right here listed, these are super, super worth it for those of you that are competitive players or want to become competitive. Pick these monsters up, okay? As much as you can, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can purchase up to 5, of course. I don't think they allow you to purchase the same exact monster over and over again because that'd be like a scam, basically. Yeah, I don't, they should not allow that. I don't know if that's a thing, but let's just hope it's not because I just hope people don't really do that because uh, some players might be new to the game and they might not know that you can't use more than one monster, more than one corrupted monster, basically. So let's just hope. Yeah, but anyways, um, besides that, so we did review every single one of them. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move up to some of these other offers here. Like Matt Sony rank up offer for guys, something like this. You can pick it up, you know, for wars if you're a competitive player. Let's say you're missing like a book that, uh, you know, like one of the books you're really lacking on that. And Matt Sony's actually in it. Then go on and pick it up. If you need a really good dark attacker or I guess a decent one, a good one, let's just say not decent, but a good one. Matt Tony would be fine. So if you want to get this to rank five, you can go ahead and purchase two of these or something and then, you know, spend a lot on top of that and basically max it out. But yeah, if you want to pick that up, you can. But once again, guys, there's Spectra. So if you want Spectra instead, unless you want to spend a little more on top, you know, just making your profile look even better, then sure, go ahead and do so. Uh, but anyways, take a look at this. There's a flash sales combo pack. So lots of you guys might be wondering if these are worth it. Uh, here's the thing. Let me see what the... Contains one. Okay, I thought it was more than one. I was about to say, what? Contains one Corrupted Era Season 1 monster up to rank 4. So here's the thing. You don't know what you're going to get out of this. And the rank, it is just random. So you don't really know what it's going to be. You know what I mean? Let me see. Are the monsters different? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Let me see which one's really worth it out of every single one of these. Um. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, here's the thing, guys. Here is the thing with this. Corrupted Era Season 3. Okay, so basically this is for Season 3. This is like the best one to pick up. Okay, so if you want to purchase any of these, pick this one up. Um, season 2 would be your second option. Okay, if you end up getting a Spectre up to rank 4 and you don't have that before, it's really good. Ferrata as well. Ferrata is amazing. Um, Mastron is amazing. Marley, on the other hand, I do like Marley, but... Uh, you just have to pair it up nicely with another monster that could take in a first turn room positive satisfaction. Unless you're just going to run the spilling for some Marley. But Marley is great. I, I really love running Marley as an attacker. Even though it's a denier. Kind of like Sensei Panikin. Lady Meow is also amazing. You also have a decent Resurrector here at Caleria. Um, And also Richo is kind of nice too. But yeah. This would be your last option. It, it would be your last option honestly guys. So I know there are a couple of monsters here that are kind of good. But... Corrupted, season, Corrupted Era Season 3 chest and Season 2 would be your best choices in here. But if you want to just do 3 for the 2 price, I guess. 3 for the price of 2, yeah. You could literally just purchase this. The 1300 gems and you can open up every single one of them. If you guys want me to do this for a video where I open up every single one of these. Just maybe for content. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I can do it. Maybe not. I don't know. That's a little pricey. Maybe I could... Spend that 100 bucks instead on um, maybe Mojo Drag or Jakuna High. I don't know. But I kind of want to do it for the content at the same time. I don't know, guys. I'll have to see. Um, I don't want to spend too much on this game. Uh, but maybe for the content for the viewers. I, I feel like you guys really deserve it. You guys are awesome. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, once again, Season 3 and Season 2 would be your best options. And what's the best in here to get? Well, Cruel's amazing. This is amazing. This is, this is, this is amazing. Every single one of them. This one as well. Um, Charmless is also amazing. ZHC is actually quite good. Wangshu is also quite good. Stun Gum would be your last monster to get. Same with Royal Magus. This will be your last, actually. Either this. Climbird, I know too many people don't like it, but I think it's quite decent. But here's the thing. This is way better than Cruel, okay? So if you end up getting Cruel, way better. Uh, but yeah, this really just depends on luck, and you don't know what rank it's going to be once again, guys. So... Yeah, you might end up getting another duplicate. And what if you have that to like rank 4 or 5? It'd be just a waste basically. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there is also this going on. I don't normally purchase these ones. I skip on them. So if you want to purchase them, you can. Um, but you also have this. I don't recommend purchasing this, guys. This is not worth it. Really, it is not worth it. Skip on this. I know it says Blue Shaker like a rank 3. But if you have the exclusive pass already... It is not going to give you Boom Shaker like a rank 3 cells so that you can put that on top of the rank 3 that you already have. It's not going to be enough. Trust me. It's only going to be like maybe 1800 cells or a little more. Nah. Um, so don't purchase that. Okay. But um, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. And also guys, the Flash Tails Top Monster. I know two of you guys don't purchase this. Any of these? But here's the thing. For this one right here, this specific one where it's for gems, the only one that's worth it would be Sensei Panikin because of the Unrelting Assault. So if you want to spend less instead of the 4,000 gems, you can spend 1,400 and get yourself Sensei Panikin just for the Unrelting Assault. This is the only one. Literally, the only one that's worth. If you want something better, then get one of the ones that are like 4,000 gems or... um, What's it called? 100 bucks. This is not worth it. Don't skip on this, place. <laughs> just skip on this. This is not worth it. It's a scam. Um, but I just wanted to make this video to help you guys out. Uh, you still have time, like two days and 10 hours or something on this. But here's the thing, guys. If you're watching this, I need you to drop a like and also, um, I guess, subscribe. But especially drop a like and comment down below because it just helps the YouTube algorithm. And for those of my viewers, like people that have subscribed a while ago or people that aren't even subscribed but watch ML content, this will be on their recommended and it will just help them out as well. So, It'll basically help you guys out and also the people that haven't watched this video yet. You know what I mean? The time that it's up. So make sure to do that. Uh, and also share this with any of your friends that plays the game and are looking forward to purchasing this. Maybe I can help them um, get a better look on what to purchase. And also maybe I can change their mind. Maybe they wanted to purchase, I don't know, uh, something that I mentioned in here that wasn't worth it. And now they changed their mind and they're like, oh, great. Well, now I can purchase something else, you know. So another one that I mentioned that was really good. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's Monsters video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.